Uh oh, more news. According to the according to rumors, the Japanese con company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Oh man. Okay. Well, we'll keep an eye out for that. Will that take over the G64? Will it push the PC out? Who knows? Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. So news is saying that maybe this thing won't actually take off. It'll just kind of be a flop. Look at that. It's, it's staying steady. It's actually got a pretty long lifetime. I'm actually kind of sort of impressed. All right, let's start working on... Uh, I don't suppose I can research another new type. Werewolf. You know what? I'm thinking about it. No, no, scrap it. I was thinking Werewolf Simulator. Um, I don't think it's been done yet. We'll go for a new game, though. Game number three. I don't know what to call it yet. Let's see what we've got. We can go for military. We can just go for a straight-up military action game for... I'm thinking PC. Low development costs. Trying to push myself up there a little bit. Get a bigger buffer so we can get out of our garage and get a... Uh, get, a get a nice, legit office. Let's see here. A name for a military action game. That'll probably have... Good dialogue, amazing graphics, because this this game will probably push us into the um, into the level two market as far as graphics go, and then we can research better graphics. Um, military action for the PC. How about shooter? Yeah, shooter. You know, shooter. I don't know. You shoot things. Two D graphics, of course. We're actually going to try to release this. If I was looking for something just for some research points, just kind of grinding a little bit, I'd probably go text-based because then it's got less of a development cost. Look at that. It did kind of go up a little bit there toward the end, Science Rocket. Go it. All right, shooter, military action. Not so much story and quest. Amazing gameplay, as always. That's kind of our trademark thing is the really solid gameplay. Really fun to play. They're addicting. Science Rocket is now off the market. It sold 14,522 units, generating over 100,000 money in sales. Not bad. Oh, already got a bug. A few design points, research points is just screaming. My goodness, 32 research points already. Dialogues, not so much. Really going for level design and AI here. Maybe a little less on that. Focus on... Focus on the level design, definitely. A little bit on the AI, not so much on dialogue. They're mostly just going to be shooting things. Sort of just shooting things with no real reason, no real motive or story. It's called Shooter. You shoot things. World design, graphics, sound. Well, sound, as far as any shooter goes, any sort of like an action game, sound is important. See Far Cry 3, amazing sound. It's really immersive. Very beautiful, too. I think we should probably balance this out. Uh, focus on a little bit of everything, mostly on graphics, though, because I do want to get level 2 graphics. I think that'd be something to to aim for. And research is almost at 50. We can almost do the custom game engine. To date, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. Currently, it's month 12, week 1 of month 12, so in the next few months, probably. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. God, look at that thing. That looks fucking weird. God, who would play that? Ugh. I, ugh. That ain't gonna do well. There's no way it could do well. Bugs are fixed. No design and technology points. I think we'll finish it up just before this uh, month ends. Week 3 of month 12. This will be the last game we develop this first year. New topic, new combo, great combo. Engine almost leveled up, gameplay leveled up to level 2, story and quests leveled up, dialogues leveled up, level design leveled up, AI leveled up, world design leveled up, graphics leveled up, sound not quite, and Yeti, just as a human being, is now a level 2 person. What a great guy. 12 design, 10 technology, this might actually do well. Not quite as good as sports, I don't think, but it's shooter, it's new. It's a new combo, a great combo. Those are the best. Uh, thank you from the dudes from Game Dev Tycoon. Thank you for allowing me to do this video series. Game review. First reviews for a newly released game shooter came in. Oh, God. 
actually shaking a little bit. Oh, five falls a bit short from Star Games. Uh, six military in action. Great combination from Informed Gamer. Okay. Seven enjoyable from Game Hero. And a seven nice experience from all games. Star Games was kind of a jerk, really. They're just like that one judge that always rates you really low. Ugh. How's it doing? First week, 4,000 units. Not bad. Not bad. Not horrible. Okay, maybe it's pretty bad. It's dropping off. Well, no, it's got a little bit of a revival going on. Huh. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a cult classic or something. Right, well, 47 research points. Can we do another contract work? Holy crap, that character design is really getting up there. We could maybe. I mean, can we research anything? No, can't research anything. We got level 2 in a lot of stuff, but can't research anything quite yet. Let's see if we can do another contract thing. We could go for another library software just for a quick 16k. Maybe really push ourselves for that sprite sheet software. Character design. Four weeks, 29 design points in four weeks. Whew, let's push it. Let's go for it. $31,000. Heavy design, not very much tech. Already polishing off the technology there. Got another research point, some design points. Come on, design. I don't think we're going to get it, though. Time's running out. We got the research points, so that's what I really wanted. Nah. Contract failed. Seems like this was too big of a job for you. Penalty of 9k will be applied. Ah, that's fine. We got our research points, though. So that's pretty neat. We can go for that custom game engine now. Oh, boy. What do we got here? Today, the new game platform TES by Ninvento has been released. Month three. At the end of month three in year two, Ninvento comes out. And Shooter is now off the market as soon as the TES rolls in. Sold 12,300 units, generating just under 87,000 money in sales. Not that great, but you know what? That's still an $80,000 that I didn't have before, so I will take it. Rocking $236,000 right now. Finishing up our research as far as custom game engine goes. Uh, it's a big investment. It's a really big investment, but we've got it. I can now create my own game engines. And gamepad research available. Can't research the gamepad, though. We don't have enough research points. So let's see here. Create custom game engine. We need a name for it. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. It's very expensive to do, but it'll help us propel ahead of everybody else because we may get something like save game that maybe nobody else has. It actually has 2D graphics version 2. I imagine that to be 2.5D, a bit like Doom, perhaps. You know, it's 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 2D, but it's still kind of in a 3D world. You can at least pretend it's 3D. Mono sound, oh boy. Linear story, Whew, rail shooters. That's big. And save game, 10,000. Let's go for it. Create a new engine. I don't know. I don't know. Yeti. Some spin-off of Yeti, maybe. You know what? How about just Yeti backwards? That's not backwards. I I I IT. I IT. Information technology? Internet things. In, the Internet Things engine. Um sh sh sure, sure. Why not? I ITV. I ITV? I hmm. I don't know. ITV uh version 1.0. Our, our very first iteration of Internet Things. Let's go for it. It's a big investment, a huge investment. $120,000. That's half of our money. Whew. Hopefully it pays off. Lots of points going into it. Getting a little bit of research points out of it because we are steadily getting better at everything that it is that we do. It takes a lot of time. I wonder how the TES is doing right now, if it's actually succeeding or if it is indeed flopping as the experts thought, perhaps. Who knows? Rolling under a hundred thousand dollars right now. Monthly fees being about eight thousand. Invest over a hundred thousand in a new game engine. <sighs> ITV one is now complete. First engine is ready. Should try using it in your next game. I will. I will. Let's develop a new game. And you know what? 
that's going to be sports spots sports sports two sports two 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 about sports two that seems to be cool sports two sport hard i'm out of space sport harder there we go um no let's just sport sports two there we go pick topic sports genre simulation i think that's what we did last time it's not technically a sequel you research sequels later on i think so keep that in mind and it's going to be for the pc we, we, we can develop for the TES if we want, but it costs a license. It's a one-time purchase, I believe, 80000 We could technically do it, but then we would be dumping literally all of our money into this. And it would actually probably put us in debt throughout development. So if it were to flop, uh, we'd be boned. So play it safe for the PC. Or the, G or the G64. No, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's put everything we've got into the TES. 80,000 for that license. Pick game engine, IT version one. Whew. 2D graphics version two, of course. Oh my gosh, this could be the biggest game though, ever. Bank account is in the red. Thankfully, the bank has enabled me to overdraw my account up to 50K, but be careful. If it goes below 50K, I will go bankrupt. Yeah, I know. We're very nearly there. If this game doesn't do well, we're done. Whew. Okay, pump points into that engine and gameplay. Story and quests don't matter quite so much for this particular thing. Of course, emphasis in gameplay. Level 2 gameplay, mind you. Design and technology getting up there. Research points increasing as well. Design and technology so far are kind of sort of even. Not many bugs thus far. Dialogue's not very important. Level design and AI, those are important. We'll focus a little more on the AI dialogue, probably a little less. Getting a lot of research points for this, actually. Not bad. Considering we started this at four research points, maybe five. Mono sound, of course. Pfft, of course. World design, not so important for this. Graphics and sound. We have mono sound. Let's focus a little bit on the sound. Less on the world design. And, of course, graphics. Because we are playing with 2.5 dimensions. Seems I have some serious financial difficulties. A company is about to go bankrupt. After careful consideration, we have decided to offer you a deal. We will give you 86000 which should move you out of the danger zone. But in return, I have to commit to pay us 172000 in a year's time. I really don't have any choice. Our, this company's success is hinging on this sports simulation game for the TES. We'll have to do it. And then just keep in mind, by month 7 of year 3... We have to have at least 172,000. Let's go for it. It's an important moment in uh, in this company's history. Ironing out the bugs. A little bit of technology points going into there. Any more? Any more? Any more? Flush it out. Flush it out. Flush it out. Come on, Blizzard. All right, let's do it before the month finishes up. I can't really afford to let the month finish. New records, though. It's groundbreaking for our company here. The design and technology both leveled up the engine. Everything else is pretty much level two. Oh my goodness, sound leveled up. All right, here we go. This is the moment, the moment of truth. And the joysticks available for research. Hey, neat. Be cool for like fighting games or something, maybe. First reviews of our newly released game, Sports 2 came in. Everything rides on these reviews. Oh, I see a couple tens flashing. Seven from the haters, enjoyable star games. Seven, nice experience from informed gamer. Eight, their focus on engines served this game very well, says Game Hero. And our fanboys, all games, giving it a nine, great game. Those are pretty favorable reviews. I think I'll take it. Sort of averages out to a seven slash eight. First week sales, here we go. Selling, oh, just under 9,000. Gained 43 fans for that one. Good bit of money. Good bit of money. Rank 14. A third week, bit of a spike there. Fourth week, starting to trail off now. Recent release, TES Home Console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. I'd like to think it's because of my game. I mean, my game, they, they heard the reviews and they're like, oh my god, and it's for the TES? Oh fuck, I gotta get one of those. So they go out and they buy a TES. 
And there we go. I'm, I'm now in cahoots with Ninvento. Proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. You're welcome, Ninvento. You're welcome. As one customer says, I love Sports 2 that came with the TES. And playing with the controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. I personally disagree, but whatever. To each their own. Look at that. Not bad. We, we're out of the red. We can absolutely pay off that debt. We just got to be careful. Can't spend very much money until that uh, that bailout money is paid off. Month seven, I think it was. Month seven. By uh, month seven of year three, something like that. Look at that. Uh, it's now off the market. Sold just over 32,000 units, generating a quarter of a million in sales. Come on. Quarter of a million. We're talking like 1980 here. By today's standards, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. 8k monthly costs that's fine we got some research points that we can uh we can spend we can try to keep ourselves busy with some contract work until the until the money's paid off because i'd hate to spend a lot of money into developing another game and have it turn out to be a flop because development costs are pretty high especially when you're working with you know 2.5 dimension games mono sound things like that Maybe I'll churn out a couple crap games, just not release them, just practice. Maybe I could do that. We'll see how that goes. I'm not really sure if that works or not. I'm just imagining it does. As far as research goes, we could research a new topic, music or werewolf, or racing or fantasy, of course. We could research the gamepad or the joystick. Those cost money to research, though, as well as research points. But I feel like gamepad, gamepad PC game, kind of immersive, bringing in the realm of the TES into the PC market. Maybe. I don't know. Joystick? Arcade Revival? We could, like, help Ninvento with Dinky King and remake Dinky King for the home PC. Maybe. Maybe. Someday. Someday. But for now, though, I think maybe just contract work. We could go for the library software. We could try character design again if we wanted to. Help debugging a convoluted base program. 19 technology. Ooh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's go for the library software. It's a pretty safe one. 19,000. Only a 6k penalty if we can't pull it off. We did it last time. I think we can do it again this time. Technology points. Look at those go. They're going fast. Got another research point. Oh yeah, we got this. We got it. No problem. Transfer 19k into the account. Nice little bit of money. A little bit of research points on the side. Let's develop a new game. It's just going to be a little personal test thing. Just a medieval RPG game. For the PC, sure. Why not? Game Engine, IT version 1. Why not? Well, maybe... Well, I guess I'm kind of locked into it now. Costing 35k. Okay, hold on. We cancel develop a new game. Is it always that? Okay. So we'll screw the engine then. Because the engine adds more cost. Um, I don't know, like a developer type thing, mid test, sure, medieval test, you know what, let's actually just medieval, there we go, medieval test, RPG test, there we go, no engine, I'm not going to release this one, text based, yeah, sure, start development, I'm just saying if I can actually just make a quick, cheap game, um, Recent studies suggest that increasing the variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with the younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age groups. Mm-hmm. It's true. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. We'll look into that. I'm hoping that I can just pump points into a specific thing like gameplay. Talk story and quest. Just focus on really solid gameplay. Focus. Hey, there's the research for target audience. Really just focus on a specific point and get a bunch of experience for it. Dialogue, not so much. Level design and AI. Um, yeah. Well, I do want to focus on dialogues, actually. That's a lie. Gameplay, dialogues. That's what this game's focusing on. Just for a personal skill upgrade. We're not releasing it, though. It's going to be trashed. Unless it actually happens to be really good. I'm thinking fundamentally, design-wise, this is actually turning out to be a pretty dang good game. Technologically-wise, it's really, really a blast to the past. 
Um, graphics and sound, yeah. Well, world design, not so much sound. It, it's text-based with, I think, no sounds. It's a medieval RPG, text-based adventure with no sound. That'd be good for, you know, the early 80s. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors circulating that Vena, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Interesting. So the console market's actually kind of growing. Let's iron out the bugs. See if maybe we get another design point or something. But you, you added in a new bug during the... No, oh, I haven't had that happen before. 18 design, 8 technology. I don't know. Should we even release this? It's kind of garbage. It didn't cost much to make, though. I feel like maybe maybe we should. That's a really high design. We'll see. It didn't cost much. It'd be really hard for us to bomb. We have 469 fans. They may look at this game and be like, oh my god, this is garbage, and leave. But on the other hand, it's not technologically very good, but the design, 18, that's a really high design. Didn't level up, but gained a lot of gameplay and graphic skill. And dialogue skill. Let's release it. We'll see what uh, high design, not much technology does for us. <laughs> First reviews, I forgot to rename it. Medieval RPG test. Oh god. It's actually on the store shelves with that name. How embarrassing. Focus on graphics. Serve the game very well, says Star Games. Haters. Okay, says Informed Gamer, who are in cahoots with Star Games. Obviously, this is a fantastic game. Falls a bit short, says Game Hero. Meh, says All Games. Meh. That's, that's the review. Meh. Yeah, well, you know what, all games? I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. 